Hey, it's Sebastian from SkyComp Solutions, and today we're gonna go over in detail the differences between all the Teams meeting types. So Teams has recently come out with three different types of meetings within the Teams platform. The live events feature, the webinar feature, and a regular Teams meeting that we're all used to. We're gonna give three examples of types of events which you can host virtually, and we're gonna show you which Teams meeting type coincides with the right type of event. Let's get started with the fireside chat type of live event. This one we did at SkyComp recently. This would be two or three people as the main speakers of, at the event, and they would want to interact with people only with a Q&A chat feature, not audio and visually. So no interacting through the camera or using a microphone. This is great for audiences that want to listen, interject with typed chat style comments and not actually live interact with the hosters and presenters. This type of meeting can accommodate up to 10,000 attendees and about five presenters. This, you would select the live event option in your calendar. The next example is a webinar style event. This is where you have an audience and attendees that want to interact with the hosts and presenters live via video and audio. You would select the webinar feature option in your calendar, and this would allow up to a thousand attendees, including presenters. So you have to accommodate those numbers accordingly. Now, if you're just meeting with your team or external people or a smaller scale meeting, you're gonna to wanna to select the meeting option in your calendar. This allows for up to 300 people to join, present, share screens, and talk to everyone in the meeting. So choose wisely when selecting which meeting type within Teams you want to use. Make sure that you understand the attendees and presenters' needs. When using the live event feature and using the virtual event platform, you're gonna to want to find an event, a virtual event specialist or a production specialist to help switch your sources and your camera angles. This would just help you um, get through that process. And if you're looking for a video on help, you can go to the link in description and find that video where SkyConf goes over how to use the live events feature. I hope this is helpful. If you want more help with Microsoft Teams, we have a full playlist. You can watch that over here. And if you wanna watch other videos about Microsoft Teams or other technology, you can click over here. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.